everyone, and welcome to Burnt Toaster Productions. I'm your host, Burnt Toaster, and we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, the quest we've got lined up for today is Dream On. So, yeah, we're going to go to um, Jefferson Perales's, um apartment. All right, we're here. Upstairs. Thanks. Oh. I love having to sit here in an elevator and wait. But it's an elevator. Oh, well. Who really cares? A lot of scratches on this uh, elevator, too, it looks like. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on, Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. We're talking about the cornerstone um, of my platform. Bother us doing what exactly? I'm not doing a U-turn just because You'll know in a minute. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. Well, V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break in. Not the usual kind, though. So, unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me a noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security look into this. Say anything. This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. 
Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. All right. Cool. Come on. Let me show you around. Rather poke around my own way. You mind? No, of course not. I'll be right behind you, in case. That's, uh... I don't trust that. Something's setting off my, uh, senses. Okay, so a lot of it is upstairs, it seems like. Uh, Pan Am just messaged us. Uh, where is he? Upstairs. Is the way upstairs? No. Ah, there it is. All right, let's take a look see here. Jess Vote for office. Perales. Control, we are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Fair enough. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Mm -hmm. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. This? I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> blue roses? What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Yeah. Screw you, Rachel. Okay, let's see what else is there. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Nothing here. Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Discharged booster. Someone's been pulling all nighters. Either of you use energy boosters? I don't. Not that I know of. Jeff, maybe? He works so hard, but it wouldn't be like him. He's always been against using any substances. Any? Nicotine's a substance. Jefferson has never smoked. Really? Could have sworn I've seen him smoking. Jeff? No, never. He doesn't go near the stuff. Hmm, something's a little fishy. of Night City knows you. What's cracking? I've got a problem. I... Wait, you mean you're not calling me to ask me to be your backup dancer? <laughs> Just kidding. What can I do you for? It's about a fan of mine. The, um, the weirder variety. I've been getting death threats. A lot of them. All sent to my private address. I'm also being followed. I can't just wait around until something bad happens. We have to find him and... and deal with him. 
I don't know how much you charge, V, but I'm prepared to pay whatever the cost. Believe me. Happy to help out. Oh, Carrie was right. You're like super chill. So, I've got a plan. I'll go for a little stroll by Kabuki Roundabout while you hang back. Watch out for any signs of trouble. You catch something suspicious, like if you see the guy, and you're a hundred percent sure it's him. I'll know what to do. No, no, wait. We're not killing anyone here. That would be bad for the band's, like, PR and stuff. All we want to do is teach him a lesson. All right, whatever. You make the rules. Awesome! So, just go to Kabuki, sit on the bench, and wait for me. I'll come to you. Okay. Oh, that's what I was missing. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Huh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, what else is there to search for? Ow. Okay. All right. I'm gonna check in here. Because there's more... Oh, I guess it's in the next room. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, just... Bloodstains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. What's happening? No fucking clue. Felt kind of good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. Does that happen to the screen a lot? Or to any of the others? I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No. What? Okay, never mind. Impressive uh, liquor cabinet there. Or bar, or I don't know what you really want to call it. This was my den before the campaign. A place to focus, relax. Doesn't look it anymore. Security had to set up somewhere. One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the first, but it won't be the last. It looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Six seven oh nine. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, a lot of deleted files, it looks like. Um, what? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Okay. That's weird. Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy. Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Used meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. How could they do this to us? The gull. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. That's worrying. practically prehistoric but it doesn't look older than a day saw something like this back in the war transmitters Militech was using them short-range UHF signal only travels line of sight but it can't be intercepted line of sight let's look around see if we can't spot where our receivers camping out got a vision the receiver Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is all this for, though? Fuck if I know. But my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? Okay, you got a point there, Johnny. Cables need here. Gotta be another way inside. Sharp eye, Johnny. to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter, and I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. 
could be. Tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah, about to pay them a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine, I'll keep that in mind. Mm, I don't like how she's acting. She's acting very uh, suspicious. Oh, let's go see that van. Oh. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. Alright, you wanted wheels? We got wheels, Johnny. We're about to find out. I don't like these wet roads. That terrifies me with something that's some V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. Okay, fair enough. That does sound pretty exciting. Oh, good lord. Ooh. Thank God this vehicle turns pretty damn well. My, bo my man, this. You look at politicians and see a curated display, but behind the scenes, it's all out of war. That van's citizens going pretty damn fast. Choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for Shit. weak spots, blood stains, rigged elections. This can't end well, Johnny. Finally, about time we get some combat. Hey, don't blow up my car. Bye, Mr. Chicken Nugget Man. Ow. Oh, shucks.
Well, they're at least using Maelstrom as a front. If it is uh, their security. Could also just be Maelstrom. I mean, you never know with these guys. CPD for better records than this. Don't make this harder for you. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. No, what the fuck is this? They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm-hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're Don't bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Don't make this harder for you! V, do you have any... Got a Delta. Later. All right. Listen here. What do you get for interrupting my call? Okay, you were saying... V, do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, uh... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait. Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. All right, well, I'm just going to drive there since I'm in a vehicle. I'll see you when I get there. All right, we're here. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Relax. No need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave. 
And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm-hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. You truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'd be brave, but... Risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. All right, this quest is almost over, I think. Yeah? It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Uh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Well. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. 
Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Do we tell him? Uh, you know what? Is everything SSI all right? I wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a BD smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while, you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs, even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories. I can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait. The intruder. I have to find him. Trust me, you never will. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Could show their hand if you're patient, wait long enough. Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. As long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war? Feign weakness, so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My God. I have to tell Liz! So what now? You still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window, an opportunity, then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? So well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. Yeah, same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. <laughs> Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. All right, well, thank you all for watching. This has been Burnt Toast from Burnt Toast Productions, and I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.